the South Carolina Department of Education, in partnership with ETV, presents the South Carolina African American History Calendar. Janie Harriet, educator, historical preservationist, and family devotee. Harriet is an alumnus of Fayetteville State University, the University of South Carolina, and Montclair State College in New Jersey. Upon graduating, Harriet became a teacher and taught in various North Carolina and South Carolina public schools, along with teaching in community colleges in New Jersey. During her time as an educator, she served on several community-based organizations, performing a multitude of roles. So I wrote a grant for a Teen Life Center, and I served as the director of the Teen Life Center, where we provided services to teens to keep them out of trouble because we were, um, the, the program was the Healthy Start program, and the goal was to prevent teen pregnancy. Well, once I wasn't doing that anymore, um, there was another program to provide services to children three years old and under. Um, so I was approached about writing a proposal for that, and I wrote a proposal for what we call the Family Life Center, where we provide services to families of children who were under three years old, who were in jeopardy of going into foster care. So we would bring those families into the center, provide them services so that their children would not be taken into foster care. Harriet is the founding chairperson of the Butler Heritage Foundation and played a prominent role in the restoration of Butler High School in Hartsville, South Carolina, her high school alma mater. In the community of Hartsville, there is still standing a school that was the Butler High School. Uh, Butler High School could have gone the direction of other schools in the state of South Carolina. Uh, after desegregation, many historic black schools were turned into middle schools or junior, college, junior high schools and many were demolished and there was actually plans in Hartsville to tear down Butler High School for commercial development. But because of people like Miss Janie Harriet and others in Hartsville, that school now stands as a testament to the perseverance of people in Hartsville. It now is, has a broader community function. There is now a space to preserve the history of Butler High School and so it's a remarkable example of a school that defied the odds and that today now tells a deeper and richer story about the African-American history of Hartsville and of South Carolina. Janie Harriet is an advocate for protecting African-American history. Harriet, along with Leon Love, established the Green Book of South Carolina, an award-winning mobile travel guide which highlights important cultural African-American sites throughout the state. The Green Book of South Carolina is a project and a product that was a vision of Leon Love and Janie Harriet. Because Leon Love really wanted to have something like this, Janie Harriet was the foot soldier to try to make it happen. And how this came about was that over the 25 years that the African American Heritage Commission installed more than 200 historic markers around the state for African American associated sites and got them listed on the National Register. When we pulled all of those um, um, sites and the stories and the legacies behind those sites together, it made for a single compelling story about the African American presence in South Carolina. In 1993, Harriet was appointed as a charter member of the South Carolina African American Heritage Council, which became the African American Heritage Commission in 2001. Harriet currently serves as chairperson of the African American Heritage Commission today. Janie Harriet has received numerous awards for her service. In 2018, she was inducted into the Ernest Finney Hall of Fame and awarded the Order of the Palmetto on April 5, 2019. But out of all the awards and recognitions, her proudest title held to date is Aunt Janie. That's my most honored award. Um, as I said, I have eight siblings and they have 172, I think they keep telling me, Aunt Janie, you gotta count again children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. I have no children. So when they call me Aunt Janie, I am very, very happy about that. Learn more about the South Carolina African American Calendar's current and past honorees at www.scafricanamerican.com.